opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick buzz's youtube channel and press that bell icon now let's review 2021 then and it's always a good thing to do because you can look back at the year gone by savor the highs remember not very happily some of those low moments you think why did that but that, that why did that happen you can look ahead to 2022 and i'd i'd invite you to do the same as i'm doing this why don't you do that yourself too so i picked the five moments that i liked the most i picked four that were lows i'll take you through those Number one was the women's idea. I've been banging on about it. Some of some you might say stuck record if people still remember what records are. But I thought India were ready some time back. India readier than ever before. There is a player base. There's nothing to stop us from going ahead with a full-fledged women's IPL. So that was a bit of a downer for me. I thought we should have announced the women's IPL. Number three was India's performance in the World Test Championship. I thought I thought there, there was a World Test Championship to be won there, but India didn't have enough build-up. The conditions didn't quite favour India. New Zealand played fantastic cricket, but was disappointing because I think India winning the World Test Championship would have told a lot of young people in India. Uh, it, it probably did already, but would have gone on to tell them why Test cricket is, uh, is, is just fantastic. Number two in my list of disappointments were off the field events in Indian cricket. The acrimony towards the end of the season were the Virat Kohli press conference where his version of what happened was that variance with the version from uh, some other people. And I, I, I just don't think Indian cricket can afford these off field stories. I've got Virat Kohli giving up the captaincy before that uh, T20 World Cup. <laughs> Maybe I thought that just off the field, they should have had a few more conversations and handled that a little better. I'm looking forward to that in 2022. But the biggest disappointment, and I'm, I'm sure nobody else would have any other candidate in there, was India's performance in the T20 World Cup. I'll go so far as to say that the game against Pakistan is one of those games that you can have. Sometimes teams just come in, everything goes wrong, the opposition does everything right, but champion teams come back from there and say, right, we are here. And that's why I thought the performance against New Zealand, a little incident, a little conservative, a little un well, not quite there. I was more disappointed with the performance against New Zealand than against Pakistan. And thereafter, it was inevitable that India went out. I actually thought India were among the favourites for that. But that was, to me, the most disappointing thing that happened to me.